Speaker. I call David Shearer. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I just wanted to once again reiterate that the Labor Party is supporting uh, this piece of legislation um, because we feel it is important that we, uh, we w w fulfil our obligations under, under the treaty. Um, and, sir, um, rather than go on ab um, about how much this is putting onto a, a litre of petrol, which is about 0 0.045 cents, um, it's not significant, um, like what uh, New Zealand First was saying. It, gives, it means that you're about, if you have a tank of gas of about 60 or 70 litres, you're going to be paying about three cents extra uh, for that tank. Now, you might say, well, that's another tax, and, and absolutely, you're absolutely right. But I think what most people in New Zealand are most concerned about uh, is not about this, which is about fulfilling our obligations and effectively an insurance policy to ensure that we have and continue to have uh, petrol available to us, even if there is some world price shock or there's some sort of manipulation of the market. But what people are most concerned about is the fact that right now and yesterday, prices of petrol went up three cents a litre four cents a litre overall, when actually the, pr the price of oil per barrel went down three dollars a barrel. Now, I'm asking the same question as all other New Zealanders. They're very thankful about the fact that petrol prices have dropped around about 50 cents um, a litre over, over, the last, uh, over, the last few, over the last few months uh, because of the abundance of oil, shale oil and all the other issues surrounding uh, what's happening out there in the global market. But the question really is, why is it that now our petrol prices have gone up 20 cents from where they were, the, the, the low that they were just a few weeks ago, why have they gone up 20 cents when actually the margins of profit that the oil companies are making um, are still the same or, or have even grown? And this is something that I believe is, is in, in people's minds, and I think will become more acutely embedded in people's minds as prices continue to go up, and they can't understand why prices can possibly go up, even taking into account the fact that taxes are on, on, the, on, the, on, on, uh, on petrol, because the taxes aren't changing uh, a, a, at all. Uh, but the price is going up, even though that the price of oil uh, is going down. And the New Zealand dollar has not moved substantively over that time. Stuart Nash, in his address this evening, talked about the need for an inquiry into the price of our petrol and why it costs so much. And I would like to say that, as the Consumer Affairs spokesperson, that is absolutely needed and that is what New Zealand are looking for from this government. They want to see, they want to, they actually want to see some leadership in standing up for people who are filling their cars up every day in order to get to work. They're thankful for the prices going down, but now they see those savings that put a little more money in their pocket being eroded day by day, as in today when prices per, price per litre went up four cents, four cents without any real justification for that price increase. Sir, that is wrong, and we need to have an inquiry if nothing else, that inquiry will at least satisfy people that they are, they are getting a, uh, a, a good deal, if or, or not, um, and we can and we can uh, and we can have that out, and it can be all made public. Now, I want to uh, commend the AA, uh, the Automobile Association, not the Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, the uh, Automobile Association, for the good work that they have done uh, in this particular area, because they have been. Uh, keeping an eye on this, and they have been, they're a, a neutral observer. Obviously, they're on the sides of uh, motorists, but certainly they have been watching this <laughs> carefully. Um, and to paraphrase the, their spokesperson just the other day, they cannot understand why the price of diesel has gone up when the margin that they are make, that petrol companies or oil companies are making per litre is about 35 cents. How is it that that margin, uh, that, that price can go up when they are already? got very comfortable profit margins uh, from, from diesel. And that affects right across our, our industries and our businesses uh, that, that increase. So <clears throat> coming back to, to where we are in, in this bill, uh, as I said before, the, the increase in levy that we are putting through 
Uh, yes, at the behest of the, of the minister, the minister can, uh, can determine what the price is going to be. Uh, that is about 0 0.045 cents per litre. Uh, and from the Labour Party's point of view, of course, we don't want to see any additional um, burden being placed on motorists. But what this burden is for is a levy that's taken out of general taxation. It would have otherwise come out of your taxes, and it's being shifted across and being applied to fuel so that effectively user, the user pays in terms of, the, uh, of, of who actually pays this, uh, this, this levy. And as many of the other speakers have said tonight, sir, this is part of our international obligation. We want to have a stockpile of at least 90 days of fuel uh, that is there in case, um, as somebody mentioned tonight, uh, some of the oil producing countries decide to uh, put the price of petrol up, put the price of oil up. Uh, we have at least 90 days in which to see through that shock and mitigate and do something about that shock rather than feel it in our, in our economy. And we could actually store it physically in New Zealand, uh, but the cost of doing that is actually pretty uh, exorbitant. And what we've chosen to do instead is we buy and it's tickets or promissory notes, if you like, that out there our oil will be in various multifarious places will be secured and if we need, to ha we need to draw on it, we can draw down 90 days supply. And to ensure that that is guaranteed and maintained, uh, we, we sign a, a, a treaty. We try and the, sign the International Energy Agreement and that main ensures that our, the tickets that we purchase are actually able to be redeemed when we do need that oil. And for that, sir, for that service, we pay a price. And it's that price that we are talking about today. Because up to now, that bill has been met through general taxation, vote energy, uh, and, the, and the proposition in this bill, sir, is to ensure that that money instead is coming out of a levy that will be levied on, on petrol. Now, there are a couple of issues around here that I want to kind of, mention, because while we agree with the way this uh, is occurring. There are some exceptions, and there are some exceptions, I think, sir, that, and some anomalies that I believe uh, need to be addressed. For example, um, air transport, jet fuel, is exempt. Um, fuel oil is exempt. Um, G, uh, LPG is exempt. Bitumen uh, is exempt. Bitumen, of course, coming from, from tar, etc., coming from, from oil products. What's not exempt, and I, and I, and I believe this is a major anomaly that's been put, talked about, uh, is that biofuels and ethanols are not exempt. Now, this is, a, this is a, an industry where we, could, we have considerable added advantage in New Zealand. Uh, the great work that's being done by Scion and Rotorua with what we could do with, our, with uh, tree waste, with forestry waste in terms of generating ethanol and biofuels. So just taking off this, le excuse me, this levy off those uh, products at least gives an indication that we are serious about supporting those particular industries in New Zealand. And instead, uh, we have neglected to do that. Yet, we provide exceptions in fuel oil, jet fuel oil, LPG and bitumen. And so that doesn't seem right. Megan Woods, Dr Megan Woods from our, our party, from the Labour Party, uh, put up a supplementary order paper to rectify that, to make sure that biofuels and ethanol would be exempt. Uh, it was voted down by the government. And that really reflects uh, where this government is going. It's a government that looks over its shoulder at, at, at what's behind it and not forward about thinking what is going to be driving our economy in the future, and it's about those biofuels. So once again, um, I want to come back to where I started. The, the, uh, this is a very small amount of money to be applied to the cost of a litre of petrol. Uh, it does provide us security, and I believe that that's, that that's important, but we're not seeing right now the price of petrol coming down as it should be as the price of oil falls. And the other products, plastics, bitumen, road tar, etc., they're not coming down as well. We should be seeing a, an a decrease in those oil-based products 
running right through the economy. In fact, sir, that's not happening. And there needs to be inquiry, and that's Sorry why to, uh, interrupt the Honourable Stuart Member. Nash is absolutely spot on with his assessment. Thank you.